So you just Microsoft with the kernel? <laughs> well, so, I mean, the Linux kernel development process is about not who you work for, it's about individuals, right? Trust, I'm just Sasha's been a developer yeah. for you. But it's so funny to say that, right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, actually, the head of uh, the Microsoft kernel or open source group is KY, and he used to come from Novell, and he was an ex at and engineer for years. I mean, he's a well-known, trusted, solid engineer and manager who's been involved in Linux I don't know, for 20 years. Yeah. I mean, it's yeah. crazy. These, but um, Microsoft realizes they publicly said that over 50% of all their Azure is running Linux, mm -hmm. right? Wow. So it's amazingly huge. Uh, what happened to uh, when Microsoft applied, you know, to be uh, on the on the private mailing list? Oh, the Linux distros mailing list. Oh, so yeah, yeah. there's um, Linux distros mailing list is composed of the Linux various Linux distributions that they help do coordination of vulnerabilities releases. Um, these hardware releases actually circumvent that they don't, Intel never followed the rules, so they don't notify the Linux distros, but it's like when there's an open SSH problem, they all know, okay, next Tuesday we're gonna release and we'll all coordinate and make sure here's the patches and share them, and they work on that. Uh, to join that, there's a very well-documented list of things you have to do, and the interesting thing is, in order to be part of the mailing list, in order to do this, you have to do work. So you can't just be a consumer and say, mm -hmm. oh, just tell me what's going on. You actually have to do work and you have to say, I'm signing up for this, I'm signing up for this, I will do this, I will respond. And they, and they also have public lists of what ha people have done in the past month. So it's an interesting way to run a mailing list. It's a very good way to run a mailing list. Um, but there's a well-documented process for how to join. And Microsoft really has a Linux distribution, just like for Azure and for some devices. And just like Amazon joined this group a number of years ago because internally Amazon AWS systems has is a Linux distribution. Just like Oracle is a Linux distribution. Red Hat is, SUSE is, Canonical, Debian. Um, they're all part of this list because they're Linux distribution to push this stuff out. So Microsoft joined. Sasha actually was a, the main contact for that. He's a well-known trusted developer. Um, so yeah, Microsoft now is part of that. It's kind of interesting. Because I think Microsoft is now a Linux distributor. Yeah, they are. They are Actually, they might, somebody joked that they might be the largest distributor with the, with, with the Linux on Windows yeah, thing, right? Yeah, 98% of the, the market. I was talking to Richard Brown from OpenSUSE, <laughs> yeah. and he was like, we love it because we, our tools are now accessible to 98% of the market. Yeah, it's awesome. So, so that's a great thing. Yeah. It's, a, it's funny, and I, I love seeing it because then people can see on the same machine at the same time how different operating systems run and yeah. take their pick for what they want to do because right. you need developers to be able to run on your desktop the same thing that you're running in the server. That's why Linux is public always famously said that you're not going to be able to have ARM in the server space until developers can have it on their desktop mm -hmm. and rely on it there. And it's the same thing with this. People, these Windows developers are running in Azure and need to have, have these tools and stuff on their desktop in order to be able to run these workloads that they're going to do later. And it's just, it's good. Microsoft is really good with developers. And, that's, yeah, yeah. and they realize this yeah, and they, they did a good job. They should bring Steve Ballmer back. <laughs> <laughs> the, Linux is a cancer. It's fine. It's it's funny. You know, I mean, they're they're big companies. I mean, there's parts of IBM that hates Linux. Right? Yeah, it's the same thing. No, I, I actually <laughs> love it because this also shows the the that you know, you you said you know the our goal was were dominance. We dominate and we did not even talk about it because you yeah, know. we we won and uh, we realized. So yeah. And and now even Microsoft is in your bag. They well, are like for they make money on it, right? It's like any company. It's and so company, it's yeah. it's fine. And it's we're fine. welcome. We <laughs> welcome everybody to our because everybody has different workloads and we want to see Linux work for everybody. Yeah. Uh, the problem is that a lot. A lot of you know uh, people. They worry that you know when these companies join, uh, they will they will destroy uh, Linux. You know, but the fact is that they don't understand how open source works. That's no, not. I mean, how so everybody. Yeah, destroy. the funny thing is Linux. Everybody contributes to Linux in a very selfish manner because you want to solve the problem and for you. And you want it to be selfish. I want it to be. I want to. I want to know what your problems are and solve it because it turns out that. Everybody has the same problems. Right. <laughs> you don't want it to be a charity. No, you, it's not. So you're, you're contributing back, and you when you contribute, you're contributing to make it easier because it's easier for everybody to maintain it, and you don't have to maintain it on your fork. Mm -hmm. You try and maintain a fork, it actually costs you money and time. If you have money and time to waste, great, go off and do your own thing, NVIDIA. <laughs> but if you don't, you can drag it back. And I mean, NVIDIA pays millions of bucks to have their own fork and their own stuff off on their own. Um, their embedded NVIDIA's embedded group realizes they couldn't do it, and they're a wonderful contributors to their kernel. So their embedded side is is great because they realize they need to do that, sell chips. That's where they make money. Um, yeah, we want these. We want people to contribute. We want everybody contributes selfishly, and it helps out everybody else. Mm -hmm. Even Amazon's finally contributing to the kernel now, which oh, is they great. Are? Yeah, they are. They're, they've hired a number of kernel developers in the community. They're working, and they realize that it saves them time and money to contribute things upstream. It's a business decision, mm -hmm. and it works out great. <laughs> so David Woodhouse works for. Amazon. Mm -hmm. So yeah.